Good morning all. Welcome you to a new session of the chapter sets. In the previous class, we discussed subsets, power sets, proper subsets, universal set, etc. Today, we are going to learn a special types of subset of set of all real numbers. You know, this symbol represents the set of all real numbers. When I ask you to write some subsets of the set of all real numbers, you can write many subsets like set 1, 2, 3, n, z, q, t, and uh, set 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. These all are set of subset of set of all real numbers because 1, 2, 3 are real numbers. All natural numbers are real numbers. All integers are real numbers. All rational numbers, irrational numbers, and uh, uh, prime numbers are real numbers. These all are subset of set of all real numbers. You know that the number line, this number line represents the set of all real numbers. Every point on this line represents a real number. Okay. When we consider this subset 1, 2, 3, it is the, just like this 1, then next 2, then 3. There is a gap in between any two consecutive numbers. When we consider n, it is start from 1, then 1, then 2, 3, 4, etc. In that case also, there is a gap in between any two consecutive numbers. When we consider all these subset, there is a gap between any two consecutive numbers. Today, we are going to learn a new type of subset. In that subset, there is no gap in between any two subsets. Okay? For that, we use the software GeoGebra to learn the new type of subset. Listen here. When we consider the set of all natural numbers, natural numbers start from 1. Then what is the next natural number? Next natural number is 2. Okay. Next 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, etc. This is, this is a set of all natural numbers. In between two natural numbers, there is a gap. This, there are number of real numbers here. We don't include these numbers in between 2 and 3 in in the set of all natural numbers okay when we consider the, the set of all whole numbers in that case also the number 0 also included but there is a gap in between into consecutive numbers the same is arised in the case of integers also there is a gap in between any two numbers now we are discussing a new type of subset in which there is no gap in between two consecutive numbers okay listen a is a point a is the point minus two minus two is the point a and i am going to write all the real numbers from minus two to three starting from minus two and ending in three all real numbers there is no gap it include natural numbers uh, irrational numbers rational numbers etc the set of all real numbers from minus 2 3 starting from minus 2 and end in 3 this is co called this set is called closed interval minus 2 3 it means that closed interval minus 2 3 means the set of all real numbers starting from minus 2 and end in 3 then what is the meaning of closed interval for age set of all real numbers starting from 4 into starting from 4 to uh, starting from 4 and n in 8 okay if i write minus 2 as a and 3 as b then this is called closed interval a b then what will be the graph of closed interval a b it is like this starting from a end in b all real numbers in between a and b including a and b is called closed interval a b okay the symbol to write closed interval a b is like this a square bracket this is read as closed interval a b this is the first interval there are four intervals and first interval is closed interval a b it includes all real numbers from a to b including including a and a p okay now another type of interval is listen let me take another point b and uh, i am going to write 
all the numbers from minus 2 to 3 in this case in this case we exclude in this case we exclude the number minus 2 we exclude the mi number minus 2 and the 3 write all the real numbers in between minus 2 and 3 here minus 2 is excluded and 3 is also excluded this interval is called open interval minus 2 3 what is the difference between open interval and closed interval in closed interval a b or minus 2 and 3 are included but in open interval minus 2 and 3 are excluded okay then this is the uh, graphical representation of open interval a b here a and b are excluded and uh, all real numbers in between a and b included this symbol the symbol used to write open interval is this semicircular bracket semicircular bracket okay then third type of interval is this one open closed interval a b semi open or we can say semi open or semi closed both are uh, correct semi open interval or semi closed interval or open closed interval a b in this case a is excluded and b is included and the last case is closed open interval a b a is included and b is excluded closed open interval a b first part included and second part excluded Close in closed interval a b a is included b is excluded and all the real numbers between a and b included these are the four types of intervals okay these are the four types of interval intervals are uh, classified into four first one is closed interval in closed interval a b a and b are included and all the real numbers in between a and b also included the symbol to write closed interval a b is a square bracket a b next one is open interval a b here a and b are excluded and all real numbers in between a and b included the symbol is like this and third one is semi open or semi closed interval a b or we read as open closed interval a b here a is open excluded and b is closed included and all the real numbers between a and b included text uh, and the last one is uh, closed open interval a b here a is included b is excluded and all the real numbers between a and b included clear these are the four types of intervals so let us write in the notebook write next heading intervals as subsets of r intervals as subsets of r first interval is called open interval what is open interval let a be a real number such that a less than b when we write an interval the first number must be less than second number a less than b okay then open interval a b equal to in open interval a b there are num a lot of numbers we call it as x and x are real numbers all are real numbers and what is the peculiarity a less than x less than b x are in between a and b and b are excluded this graph is like this a this is a this is b a and b are excluded and all the real numbers in between a and b are included the symbol is like this this is read as uh, open interval a b okay write in your notebook next one closed interval second one is closed interval let a b are real numbers such that a less than b then closed interval a b not the simple square bracket set of all x such that x are real numbers and a less than or equal x less than or equal b difference between open and closed interval is here equal to is there in closed interval but in open interval equal to will be vanished okay here a and b are included graph is like this here the bubble is shaded okay a and b are shaded closed interval a b this is known as closed interval a b write neatly in your notebook and third one semi open or semi closed both are same okay the semi open interval or semi closed interval in this case also a less than b and uh, one part is open and second one end is open and second end is closed set of x such that a less than x less than or equal to b okay graph is like is here open here closed open closed interval open closed interval a b and the last one is semi closed or semi open interval in that case closed open interval first part closed and second part open then graph is like this okay clear 
now today's theory part is over before that we have to write some notes first one is as you know all intervals are continuous all intervals the numbers in an interval is continuous and all intervals are infinite set infinite set and uh, the superset of all interval is r therefore r the set r can be considered as a universal set of all all intervals so write that facts as not in your notebook first one intervals are subsets of r r means set of all real numbers all intervals are infinite sets all intervals are infinite set and interval cannot be a finite set second one r can be considered as a universal set of all intervals when we discuss about intervals the universal set is what r because it is a superset of all the intervals and third point open interval minus infinity plus infinity what do we mean by this symbol infinity okay it is a number which we, we, we can make the number as small as we like that is minus infinity and we, uh, by plus infinity we mean which can we, we can make that number as large as we please this is the number line by minus infinity we mean we can make that number as small as we please and by plus infinity we mean we can make that number as large as we please okay now open interval minus infinity plus infinity let me take a number here and and we we, we want to write all the numbers uh, from the very small number to the very large number therefore like this we want to write all the numbers in the number line that is nothing but the set of all real numbers r this is the uh, interval representation of the set of all real numbers then what is the interval representation of the set of all real numbers open interval minus infinity plus infinity and second one is uh, fourth note is this closed open interval zero infinity here the number start from zero and has no end okay zero is here and plus infinity is here starting from zero and has no end and write all the numbers from zero to the last okay it means that the set of all non-negative real numbers the set of all non-negative real numbers we can represent using the symbol r plus okay and the fifth one is open interval minus infinity zero by open interval um, uh, by the symbol minus infinity we mean we can make that number as small as we please okay minus infinity to zero zero is excluded here because the interval is open therefore we can move this point like this till the point zero very near to zero it include all the negative real numbers then open interval minus infinity zero is called the set of all negative real numbers and the sixth point is the number b minus a is called the length of the interval a b what may be the interval open or closed or semi open or semi closed we can say length of that interval as b minus a suppose i am discussing open interval 2 a then what is its length 8 minus 2 is equal to 6 when i am discussing closed interval 2 10 what is its length 10 minus 2 that is 8 and we can say the length by subtracting the smallest number from the largest number as b minus a okay now the theory is class is over now we have to do some problems only three problems from 16 to 18 First one, question number 16. Write the following intervals in uh, uh, following as intervals. These are all our set builder form, and we want to write this set builder form into the form of interval. Very, very simple question. First one, answer to question number A. Here, set of all x such that x are real numbers and uh, minus for less than x less than or equal to 6. Here, open and here, closed. Therefore, open closed interval minus for 6. How can we draw its graph? just like this open interval minus 4 therefore minus 4 is excluded and 6 is included therefore here is a bubble and here is a shaded bubble and uh, we want to write all the real numbers in between minus 4 and 6 like this then this is a set builder sorry this is the graphical representation of a open closed three interval minus 4 6 okay the next one is uh, open interval minus 2 minus 10 answer to question number b is open interval minus 2 minus 10. then what is the answer to question number c yes closed open interval 0 7 and the answer to question number d write this set this is a set builder form and write this in the interval form here less than or equal to here also less than or equal to therefore is the interval form is interval form is what closed interval 3 4 clear
Now answer the question number 17. What is question number 17? Write the following intervals in set builder form. These all are intervals. We want to write in set builder form. Very, very simple answer to question number A. Set of all x such that x is a real number. Real number is important. And uh, 6 less than here open. Therefore, 6 less than x less than or equal to 12. And set of question number B. Set of all x such that x belongs to R minus 3 less than x less than 0. Then what will be answer to question number C? Write yourself. Yes. Set of all x such that minus 23 less than or equal to x less than 5. And what is answer to question number D? Very, very simple. Closer interval 6, 12 equal to set of all x such that x belongs to R. Comma. Yes. 6 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 12. This point is very important. x belongs to R. When here x belongs to N or x belongs to Q or x belongs to Z, this is not intervals. x belongs to R is very compulsory, very mass. So, don't forget right x belongs to R here. Okay. Now, we converted intervals into set builder form and the inverse set builder form into intervals. And the last question, question number 18, state whether the following uh, statements are true or false. First one, open interval minus 3, 5 is a subset of open interval minus 7, 9. What is your opinion? Is it true? Sure. Because open interval minus 3, 5 include the numbers from minus 3 to 5 and open interval minus 7, 9 include the numbers from minus 7 to 9. Clearly, open interval minus 3, 5 is a subset of minus 7, 9. What about uh, answer to uh, question number B? Open interval minus 3, 5 is a subset of closed interval minus 3, 5. Sh clear. Here minus 3 and 5 are excluded but here included. Therefore, every element in open interval minus 3, 5 is an element in closed interval minus 3, 5. Therefore, it is also a true statement. What about this one? Open interval minus 1, 2 is a subset of closed open interval 0, infinity. That is wrong because here minus 1, uh, all numbers very near, uh, less than 0 but greater than minus 1 included. Okay. The numbers from minus 1 to 0 included here but here starting from 0 therefore this set is not a subset of uh, set 0 infinity that is wrong what about this one here 0 included here 0 excluded therefore this is not a subset of this one therefore it is also false okay clear today we have learned a very beautiful concept of uh, sets that is intervals subsets of real numbers hope you all enjoyed the class well try to learn all topics in time. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.